हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू योर पीडिया एजुकेशन सो इन दिस सीरीज ऑफ इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन आई एम हेयर अगेन विद वन मोर क्वेश्चन दैट इज रिलेटेड टू बेसिकली योर प्रोजेक्ट सी मोस्ट कॉमन क्वेरीज ऑफ द स्टूडेंट इज सर हाउ वी कैन एक्सपेक्ट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द प्रोजेक्ट सपोज योर प्रोजेक्ट इंक्लूड सम हार्डवेयर इंटीग्रेशन ऑब्वियसली इट इज कंटेनिंग सम एम्पलीफायर सम ए टू डी कन्वर्टर डी टू ए कन्वर्टर सम काउंटर सम सेंसर सम ट्रांसट्यूजर्स मैनी ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इलेक्ट्रिकल डिवाइस मेट बी कनेक्टेड एंड दोज ऑल डिवाइस एज वेल यू हैव स्टडीड इन योर बी टेक करिकुलम इन द रिस्पेक्टिव सब्जेक्ट सो दे ट्राई टू रिलेज दो प्रोजेक्ट टॉपिक टू योर कोर सब्जेक्ट सो टूडे आई मेरी विद वन सच क्वेश्चन विच वॉज बेसिकली फ्रॉम द यू नो कंट्रोल एप्लीकेशन ऑफ एनी ऑफ द स्ट्रीट लाइट विद कंपेरेटर सर्कट that was basically a project okay i am not getting detail into that project the question was regarding to comparator circuit okay how we do the comparison what is the basic element for comparison which device you will use for the analog comparison you will prefer the single threshold comparison or double threshold comparison okay so whatever i am going to discuss here that answer as well equally applies to these all questions how we can convert sine wave to square or pulse wave how we can convert distorted sine wave to square or pulse wave how we can restore the distorted square wave and how to avoid oscillation in the comparison see whenever you are doing the comparison you are providing information to someone or some output circuit that okay this is my status so if there are some false oscillations or chatter and sputters in the comparison then that is a you know not efficient comparison so you need to avoid oscillation in the comparison okay so this is the biggest problem of the most of the idle comparator or open loop comparator or single threshold comparator see you might have studied the operational amplifier operational amplifier is basically a device which is used for the analog comparison and operational amplifier can be used in the open loop configuration or closed loop configuration so in open loop configuration with high gain you understand its output will be either plus v set or minus v set that basic idea at least you have okay if we talk about the close feedback with you know positive feedback then there is a configuration which we call the schema trigger the schema trigger is basically a idle comparator okay it is preferred in mostly noisy distorted or interfering conditions or industries and schema trigger prefer the double threshold and idle comparator or open loop operational amplifier prefer the single threshold so what i will prefer i will prefer double threshold but the question is what are the problem with the single threshold how to describe those problem is it clear whatever i will discuss here that is all applicable for this all as well as fine now see let us move ahead what my point is let us start okay consider this one you can understand here this is our open loop op amp having reference input at inverting terminal so this is basically a single threshold comparison this is basically a single threshold comparison what are the problem associated with it fine now see you understand this output versus input characteristics is showing when input is greater than v reference or threshold value then output will be plus v set or plus vcc if input is less than v reference or threshold then output is going to be minus vee you can consider that this region okay so this is the transfer characteristics now let us assume this input is exactly not the idle one this input is now this one having some noisy effect some noise or disturbance or interference effect on this see whenever there is a effect of noise and interference on some input then there are increment decrement in the input multiple times in very short span of time but i have shown this expanded scale to just let you people understand now you see i am assuming this is my idle input this is my idle input and because of noise there are you know increment decrement again increment decrement in the input because of noise disturbance see if we check for the idle input there is only at one point where this input is crossing my threshold so only at that point transition was expected actually so this transition should happen only at this point but what we are getting we are getting these oscillation these chatters here so these are unwanted things what they will do whatever circuit will be connected here at the output these will provide them the false triggering and your process will start doing on and off multiple time in short span of time and entire structure become the uncontrollable for that time that is all because of the noise effect because you are sending the false signal this was not expected here but because of this noise you know this comparator respond like this so we need to avoid these oscillation we need to 
avoid these oscillation avoid these oscillation so now how we can avoid these oscillation so the answer for this is the skimmer trigger answer for this is the skimmer trigger or double threshold comparison what how see let's see here so now let us see how skimmer trigger is going to handle that noise effect and remove it out and work efficiently right so you can see this is basically operational amplifier configuration in closed loop with positive feedback okay i am not going to discuss in detail that all that we have discussed in the operational amplifier and you might be studied so this configuration is popularly known as skimmer trigger so what basically logic is used by the skimmer trigger see if we check this input now you see input is increasing then decreasing again increasing then decreasing again increasing increasing decreasing increasing decreasing again increasing decreasing and this is a noisy input so this is my upper threshold and this is my lower threshold upper threshold go to this point and lower threshold go to this point and these values are dependent upon the what reference circuit you have used okay i'm not getting into detail so what i'm doing here if input is increasing so this arrow is in the direction of the increasing input so there will come a point when your input will become more than upper threshold more than upper threshold your output changes from plus v set to minus v set you can see plus v set to minus v set you can see here this is my plus v set level and this is minus v set level and second thing you see this is the decreasing input arrow in this direction once the input decrease or become more negative than this v input less than v lower threshold you can see output make transition from minus v set to plus v set minus v set to plus v set keep in mind output changes from minus v set to plus v set okay but how this is going to remove the noise if we merge these both now we get this one this is the transfer characteristics of skimmer trigger you see now if we check this margin this width let us consider this point our input is increases i told once it increase this point output will come plus v set to minus v set okay let us assume output is at minus v set output is at minus v set fine and because of noise my input was increasing but because of noise you can see here sometime it will increase decrease because of noise it start decreasing but you can see here even it increase around this threshold or decrease around this threshold output is always at the same level the same is going to happen here about this threshold even input become more negative than that become more positive than that output is going to stay at the same level no oscillation will result but this variation will be allowed up to only this width so that is why this hysteresis width is very important so more is this width more will be the better performance in the presence of the noise so that is why how it avoid the you know chatters and oscillations in the output which were present in the open loop configuration see what is happening here i told you if once you are input cross this upper threshold the output make the transition fine from plus v set to minus v set let us say assume here okay now you can see here i told you if now at this point this input is coming less than threshold i told you if input become less than threshold doesn't matter output will remain only at this state till the time this input doesn't fall so much that it also crosses the lower barrier then it will change its state but this is not happening here actually okay this is up to this point only so what i will say this will keep the entire state identical up to this point 
and here it will exhibit the again transition because you can see here input has decreased below this lower threshold barrier. So you see we don't have any sort of oscillation here only sharp transition we have. And like this we can get the scare wave or pulse wave from any of the pure sinusoidal or distorted sinusoidal by using the concept of hysteresis loop by using the concept of schema trigger. That is the beauty of this schema trigger keep in mind. So this is the important concept you need to mention. So now keep in mind whether it is distorted sine wave, pure sine wave or have distorted scare wave everything can be purified everything can be shaped into proper wave by using the concept of schema trigger. So the ideal selections for the noisy environment is schema trigger only. Is it clear? So that is why this hysteresis width is very important. So what I say finally I can conclude if effect of noise, if effect of noise on input lies between upper threshold and lower threshold then there will be no oscillations in the output. Is it clear? That much noise it can accept. Keep in mind. Right? Thank you.